Hello 3D printing friends, today on the BV3D channel I'll show you some of my favorite Ender 3 printable upgrades. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I'm going to show you some of my favorite Ender 3 printable upgrades. Some of these are things I've shown before and some I haven't, and there's one that gets asked about a lot, so hopefully this makes the people happy who've asked about it over the past year or two. One of the great things about printable upgrades like these is that you can really personalize the look of your 3D printer while adding some little conveniences along the way. And there are links in the description for every one of these things I'm highlighting today. If you pick a brand and color of filament and stick with it for all your printed upgrades, it'll look pretty sweet when you're done. Now, of course, I haven't followed that advice, so on this printer, they're not printed in any particular kind of filament, and it's really giving off kind of a cobbled together sort of vibe. Oh, and not every printed upgrade on this printer is something I'm going to cover. Like this cover on the power supply with the switches. I'm not covering that cover. I might cover that cover in another video because there's additional wiring and electronics involved, and that's too involved for this video. Okay, enough silliness. Let's get into the prints. The very first one I want to show is this Ender 3 filament spool holder adapter from Thingiverse user Build It Full. I've got this on several of my printers, and this is the one I get asked about all the time. I like using this to mount the spool holder at the front left corner of the printer. It gets the weight off the top of the gantry and brings the spool to the front and angles it forward. That means I can easily see how much filament is still left, and it keeps the spool away from all the wiring at the back of the printer. You'll need to supply a couple of M5 screws and hex nuts to get it mounted, but once it's in place, you'll enjoy this forward-thinking upgrade. Next, this extruder knob. While the Ender 3 V2 comes with one already, the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro do not. Extruder knobs are designed to go on the shaft of the extruder stepper motor, allowing you to turn the motor by hand when it's not energized. This lets you feed filament into the printer with one hand. Without it, you'd need to squeeze the filament loading lever with one hand while pushing filament into the system with the other. These knobs also let you see what the extruder is doing while a print job is going on. You can see it moving back and forth as filament is being fed and retracted. Now they're available in a variety of styles, and I kind of like the look of this one from Thingiverse user Pixel2. A quick search on your favorite STL site for extruder knob will turn up a bunch of these. Now there's one thing to check before you download and print one though. Take a look at your extruder stepper motor and make sure it has a flat spot on the shaft. That flat spot is where the set screw goes through the filament drive gear, preventing the gear from slipping on the shaft. Sometimes Creality uses press fit filament drive gears. These are basically jammed onto the motor's output shaft and they can't be removed without a gear pulling tool. And unfortunately, if you have a printer with a press fit filament drive gear, there's no flat spot on the output shaft, so you won't be able to use an extruder knob. Next up, this Ender 3 dual drawer unit by Thingiverse user Little Fiverr. Funny thing about some of the niceties on the Ender 3 V2 is that Creality took a look at some of the more popular upgrades for the previous Ender 3 printers and made them standard equipment on the V2. And drawer units are one of the things that Creality adopted. Now, before I got an Ender 3 V2, I tended to have tools scattered all around the printer. Flush cutters, Allen wrenches, that sort of thing. And I thought nothing of it. But once I got used to having a storage drawer on the printer, I was hooked. And I started looking for something I could use on my Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro printers. And I found this one, and I really liked it. To install it, you need to temporarily remove the Y-axis idler bracket and the LCD screen. That exposes the front of the V-slot extrusions and the drawer unit slides right in. Then put the Y-axis idler bracket and the LCD back on. And then you can load up the drawers with your favorite printer tools. Speaking of the LCD screen, the one on the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro don't have anything protecting the back of them. The screen's circuit board is completely exposed. 
Now there's not enough power going through it to give you a shock if you touch the board, but some of the solder joints are kind of pointy, so you might get poked. So what I do is cover the circuit board with this clip-on screen cover by Thingiverse user J. Peterson 1. Other screen circuit board covers are held in by the screen's screws, but this one just snaps on, and that's why it's one of my favorite little upgrades. Print it out, turn off the printer, unplug the screen's ribbon cable, snap the cover back on, and then plug the cable back in. That's it. This next item is also screen related. It's a replacement selector knob. This one, called LCD knob for Prusa i3 Mark II by Thingiverse user Mecha Mecha, is my favorite for its simplicity and its aesthetics. Even though it says it's for the MK2 or Mark II, it works just fine on any Ender 3 model. It's a simple way to add a little pop of color on the control panel. Like the extruder knob, a quick search for LCD knob on your favorite STL site will turn up a huge variety of styles. Some even look like vintage steam valve knobs, which would be cool for a steampunk inspired printer design. This is another thing that you can quickly print and then pull the stock knob off and put this one on in its place. Next, there's this handy bed handle for Ender 3 from Thingiverse user Willem Charvet. Bed handles are great for moving a hot print bed without actually having to touch a hot print bed. I like this one because it's a simple and sturdy design. I've had it on this Ender 3 for quite a while. I think it would also work on the Ender 3 Pro or the Ender 3 V2, but I don't know for certain. There might be an issue with clearance on either the Y-axis idler on the Pro or the Y-axis belt tensioner on the V2. Now, anyway, this one mounts between the Y carriage and the adjustment knobs. And after installing it, you'll need to level the bed again. But once it's on, you'll be able to move the bed around without worrying about burning your fingers. Yay! And last but certainly not least, these V-slot profile covers by Thingiverse user Kassen. Not only are these great at keeping dust and debris out of the slots and the extrusions, they give you a super easy way to customize the look of your printer. This specific set is for the Ender 3 Pro. And really, all that means is that Kassen has gone to the trouble of measuring all the open V-slots on the Ender 3 Pro and carefully sizing the covers so you can print them and snap them into place following their placement guide. The longer runs are filled with two slot covers placed one after another. And even if you have one of the other Ender 3 models, most of these will already be correct. You can print the whole set and give your printer a nice set of color accents, or you can print just the ones needed to fill the slots on the top faces of the bottom extrusions to keep the junk out. And you can print them in black to match the extrusions if you want a stealth look. Now these can be a bit of a tight fit, but that's great because it means they won't pop out. Oh, and they also make a great way to hide the wires in the V-slots as well if you're adding lighting or other accessories to the printer. And there you go. These are seven of my favorite Ender 3 printable upgrades. None of these will improve your print quality, but between having onboard storage compartments, to not burning your fingers on the bed, to keeping crud out of the cracks and crevices, they can definitely make using your printer a little bit nicer. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end. And thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.